Hey everybody, Xenatrix Adare. I know I haven't updated very much in the past few months. Either all the happenings are gotten to before I ever see them, or I feel it's been better covered elsewhere, and I'm sorry for that. However, there is something I can cover, and every one of you can cover, everyone who watches this, that is associated and supports Gamergate. As you know, one year. Full anniversary. Uh, whenever you count the date, whether it's the date of the Zoe post or the day that Vivian James was approved by the Fine Young Capitalists as our mascot for one of their games, and thus the mascot for the movement, or even today and tomorrow, when gamers are dead and hashtag Gamergate were coined. Well, gamers are dead came out and Hashtag Gamergate was going to in response. I'd like to make a few points. The first, there are those who we are going to continue to say it's just ethics and journalism. There are those who are going to say it's just about SJWs. There are those like me who are going to say it's a combination, a, mel a melting pot, or medley of various influences, those two included, and that you have to attack all the sources of ideological bias and corruption. It doesn't matter which side or which group or which, whatever you want to phrase it as, you fall into. So long as we all Understand that this is a giant thing now. This has lasted a year. We have done more than any other quote-unquote nerd culture. Because that's what it, it was called back just as early as the early 2000s. It's still called nerd culture now, though that's being popularized and isn't really nerdy. Nerd was never a uh, proud title to take. It was always an epithet. But just take pride, all of you, every one of you who have fought against these corrupt, ideologically biased assholes who tried to kill us, bully us, kill us figuratively, bully us, squash us into their little boxes. Tried to make us fit their worldview. They took on the wrong people. As I pointed out in one of my previous videos, gamers are made, bred even, to fight such seemingly insurmountable odds. We are made to grind. We are made to fight and continue. We are made, every time we hit that fucking mat and get a game over, get right back up again. Hit the start button. Get a continue. Keep going. That's what we've done for a year. And that's what we'll continue to do. We're a consumer revolt. We're a cultural shift. We're even somewhat of a political movement. All of these things are true, though not all of them describe Gamergate in its entirety. As I said, we're a gestalt, we're a melting pot, we're a medley. We are also now a watchdog, and for that we have to be careful. We have to watch not only those that we seen corrupt and tried to help purify, <laughs> we also need to make sure that we ourselves are not guilty of ideological stagnation. We don't want to become ideologically biased. That bias makes us no better than our... Mm than the antagonists of this particular game. That's a better way to put it. Even after we affect the changes we want to see, or create new media for those changes, 
as we've done with places like Tech Raptor, Niche Gamer, even Lewd Gamer. <clears throat> we still need to make sure that we aren't performing the same corruption. Skepticism and criticism, those are our best tools. And remember, no one and nothing is free from skepticism or criticism. Not you, not me, not any of the new media that have formed in the wake of Gamers Are Dead and Gamergate in general. Nothing. Always remain skeptical. Always remain critical. Always question. Always seek truth. And really, we can see that SPJ Airplay shows the sort of disconnect that uh, journalism and gamers have. We did our best to explain our side. The journalists did their best to understand, despite having a moderator who would interrupt more than he should. Uh, uh, at Game Diviner, Paolo Muniz, uh, he, he uh, or Muniz, I, I probably slaughtered that, and I'm sorry, Paolo. Uh, he had a good point that, you know, Koretsky had some good points about trying to get a framework in place for how to approach uh, leaderless online movements such as our own. But Derek Smart also had a good point at Airplay that Koretsky didn't need to try and keep interrupting uh, Kathy Young, Christine Hoff Summers, and Milo Yiannopoulos as they were trying to explain the ties that the bad ethics in journalism and the radical ideologies had. But we still sought truth and sought to give others truth and help them to find truth. Because you can't lead someone to truth. You can simply give them tools and clues. You know, here's a bit of, here's the beginning of the thread here. Start pulling. Watch the weave unravel. But even then, we've gained something with SPJ Airplay that we didn't have before, and that was a major media uh, entity willing to listen. The mainstream media has been taking the side of the ideologues the entire way. Airplay, it doesn't matter whether Airplay was a shit show, as some put it, or whether it was great, as others put it, or whether it was somewhere in the middle, as I generally see it. It gave us that sense of, finally, eyes are opening, people are watching, this is important. So, with that, here's what I propose for the coming year. And again, everyone who supports Gamergate out there, hell, everyone neutral. Further, even the fucking antis. What you want to see in the next upcoming year. I can predict what some antis will say, some neutrals, some pro. Here's what I want to see. We remain skeptical and criticize all forms of corruption we see, including those within our rank. In the same vein, calling out harassment as we've always done, call, <clears throat> calling out bad attitudes as we've always done. That's, you know, that's given. I'd like to see something pursued with the with the wider spread we've been given via SPJ Airplay. I hear that there's uh, something in the works, sort of an Airplay 2. I'm not really big on those details. Uh, again, at Game Diviner on Twitter, uh, Paolo Munez, he's, he's got more details on a lot of things. Finally, my biggest hope would be that we don't give up 
that we don't stop. Even though we have, by and large, shown time and again that we're not going to get quashed. Every gamer gets tired of grinding after a while. It happens. If you feel like you're tired from the grind, if you feel like, oh, this is never going to end, walk away, take some time yourself, play some vidya, seek out friends, whatever you're going to do to relax. However long you think you need, come back. Just like any other game where the grind has gotten too tough or there's just that one boss kicking your ass and you can't think of a way past it and the anger has just got you so so focused that you tunnel vision. Step away. Come back. Clear-headed. Ready to fight. Because that's what this is. This is, this is not something that has an end point. There is no end point. I mean... The hashtag may eventually be abandoned or less used. I don't see that happening anytime soon. But the sentiment must not. Always keep an eye out. Always look for those people who are out to destroy what we hold dear. Whether it's games, well, video games, whether it's uh, traditional games, whether it's trading card games, whether it's comics, whether it's books. I mean, the Hugo Awards thing where they burnt down the award ceremony rather than try and elect a good, uh, a good author be simply because eh, it doesn't fit our ideology. Yeah. That's the type of people we're dealing with. People who would rather destroy knowledge, destroy frameworks, destroy the things they can't control. And that right there, that's authoritarianism. That's totalitarianism. That's fascism. That's whatever you want to call it. It all boils down to they want control and they can't have it. So, happy birthday, Gamergate. Here's to another year of kicking ass, taking names, fighting corruption, fighting the ideologically biased, and seeking truth. Always, most importantly, Seek truth. I'm Xenatrix Adare, and I'm signing off. Remember, you don't only seek the truth. The truth seeks you.